Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange Single Sign-On Service. In this video, we have enabled single sign-on for GitHub, AWS, PagerDuty, G Suite, and Office 365. The user credentials are stored in Active Directory, Mini Orange can help you achieve SSO into any application and you can use your existing user store or IDP. You don't need to move your user identities anywhere. Isn't that great? Now let's see how Mini Orange SSO works in your application. When the user tries to log into GitHub, GitHub sends the authentication request to Mini Orange. Mini Orange forwards the authentication request to AD using Mini Orange Gateway. AD sends the response to GitHub via Mini Orange with authentication status. Upon successful authentication, the user gets logged into GitHub. Now the user can access all the other applications which are configured for SSO without entering any credentials for the other applications. Now we will demonstrate the IDP initiated flow, where the user logs into the mini orange dashboard and can access all the applications from there. If your users first need to access one centralized portal and access all the applications from there, then IDP initiated flow is for you. Go to your IDP login page. The Mini Orange login page is completely customizable, along with the domain. This is the user dashboard. The user can see all the configured applications in one place and access them with a single click. Just click on Office 365. And we are logged in. Now let's try with GitHub. We got logged in. Now trying AWS, I am. And we are in. All within a single click, and the user doesn't need to enter a username password for each application. Now let's try PagerDuty. And we are in. And lastly G Suite applications. And we're logged in. The user can access all the G Suite applications. Now we will demonstrate the SP initiated flow, where the user isn't aware that Mini Orange IDP is present in the flow. In the customization section, you will have complete control over the user experience for sign up and authentication flow, and for the look and feel of the login or sign up page, UI aspects of layout, branding, internationalization, RTL support, vanity URLs and more. If your users want to access the applications one by one, then SP initiated flow is the right pick. User tries to log in into Google. User gets redirected to the customized IDP login page, enters credentials there, and he gets logged into Google. Goes to Office 365, we can categorize the SSO based on the domain. In Google, we used miniorange.in domain, but only users with domain securify.com get login access to Office 365. And the user gets logged in. Trying AWS IAM login, users can access the applications via bookmarked URLs as well. We got logged in. Going to PagerDuty. And we are logged in. Trying SSO into Radius VPN, we support login to VPN using the same credentials as the rest of the applications thus saving the hassle to remember one more set of usernames and passwords. And we are connected to VPN. Let me give you a quick recap of what you flows we covered in the video. We saw single sign-on into GitHub, AWS, PagerDuty, G Suite applications, Open VPN, and Office 365 with Active Directory as user store. Also application initiated login and IDP initiated login. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions drop us a query on info at securify.com.